So what's all this talk about Dolby Atmos? What's all this talk about Dolby Atmos for headphones that you could use any headphone you want, even a cheap pair of stereo headphones? Well, we're gonna get into that right now. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a recce is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. All right guys, so this is going to be a discussion about Dolby Atmos and the Dolby Atmos for headphones that exist on the Xbox and on Windows platform that I actually just tried today for the very first time. I'm a little late to the party. I believe this released in like June-ish or July, but uh, a couple of games and a couple of games came out then, but I, I just got a chance to try it. I tried it on the Xbox One X uh, with 4K, just add an immersion with the 4K visuals and you know the headphones as well. So. Let's start with Adobe Atmos in general for your home theater. So a lot of you guys have already heard this already and probably seen what Adobe Atmos is. Basically, I have a 5.1 surround sound system down here right now. Um, it is regular Adobe Digital like everyone else has always been used to. You get sound you know, from the left, right, and center speaker and the two back ones. And then that's it, that's your 5.1. And then you got the subwoofer which makes a 5.1 surround sound. That is the basic, you know, Adobe Digital. What Adobe Atmos is adding is one of two ways that you can incorporate it into your system. As long as your receiver supports it, that's a big deal. Your receiver has to support Adobe Atmos for, an, for it to work with the Xbox One uh, feature that we're gonna talk about later. So if your receiver supports it like mine does, you're good to go. Uh, the speakers don't have to be anything crazy. I have the five that I'm using now, I'm gonna keep. I have to add two to get the full atmosphere and the full, you know, actual feel of what Adobe Atmos is, but let's go through it. So the two things that, two ways that you can add it is you can either A, which is the recommended way, is adding either two or four speakers to the ceiling. So picture your three front speakers and the two back ones, and then you got either two or four hanging in the center on the ceiling. So that is the optimal way to do it because that makes it feel like you're, you know, surrounded by the sound, which is what the whole point of Adobe Atmos is, is, is the 360 Instead of it being directional, like Adobe Digital is, where it's coming from left, right, center, you know, and all that stuff, this is more trying to fill the room with 360 sound. So it's all over you, basically, is what they're advertising it as. So taking that into account, you can put them on the top of the ceiling, and now you've got sound coming from left, right, front, and the, and the top, which bounces from the top and, you know, goes all over the room. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, my speaker system uh, has five speakers right now with the sub. It supports two more. Uh, so I can only do two, but being how small this room is, it's still going to be incredible. I can't wait to actually hear it. More so than I already did now, which we'll get into in a minute, uh, where I actually get that properly set up. So I'm going to put two on the ceiling uh, right there. So that's going to be uh, awesome. So that's the first option you can do. The second option you can do to get it working with your home theater system is also adding it to the top of your bookshelf speaker. So if you want to add it to your bookshelf speaker, like the, like you don't want to put anything on the wall, on the ceiling because you've got no room or you don't want to drill any holes, you could buy, so say you have the two bookshelf speakers that are this high, you know, that people have in the front, like I do. You could buy ones that your company probably already sells from the speaker maker that's kind of like a triangle that like force, that kind of has the speaker facing upwards and you could do it that way and then it will bounce those sound to the ceiling and back down to where you are and kind of feel the sound that way. Um, I haven't done, I don't know, I'm assuming just by hearing about it, obviously I haven't tried both methods. Um, I haven't even tried fully one yet, but obviously it sounds like the method of doing it correctly is from the ceiling, but the other options are good too. You can even put the two on the back. So if you want to do four, like I was talking about on the ceiling, instead of doing four on the ceiling, do two on the back facing upwards to the ceiling and then do the top, the front center chat, sorry. Let me start that again. The front speakers, and you can have them sitting on top of there and project up into the into your ceiling. So that will also be really well. Either option is great. So don't feel discouraged if like you can't do it on the ceiling because Adobe actually on their website shows you both methods of doing it, and, and you know a lot of speaker makers are doing it both ways. So that is if you want to get it in a home theater uh, method, which is what I like. I said I'm going to add that to mine. You can use that with the Xbox One X. Uh, there's a few games that support it right now. Gears of War 4 is one of the ones I tried today that works with it. Uh, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is another one. Now, the, that is for the Xbox One X. It also works with Blu-rays, obviously. There's like over 250 Blu-rays so far that have come out with Dolby Atmos. Check the back of your Dolby Atmos box and you'll see that, it, or sorry, the Blu-ray box and you'll see if it says Dolby on it. So that's another thing you do. And Netflix has a couple of them that they just started rolling out over the summer. 
there's very few. There's like, I don't know, there's a handful of, you know, ones that they have on there, but they're there. And uh, you can try that from there as well. So that's how you get the content. Now that is for a home theater setup. The more interesting thing that you can do, which is what I fully tried today, because I actually had the setup, is through headphones. And that is what Xbox is advertising and they, they sent out a tweet today. So all the Blu-rays and the two games and, and a couple of more that I can't remember off the top of my head that I didn't actually own, that work with this setup, can be working with headphones. Now, well, what's great about this is that it's not just headphones that you have to buy specifically made for Adobe Atmos or anything. It's literally any pair of headphones, period. So I use the Astros, I don't have them up here, I have them upstairs with the Xbox One X. I have the Astro A50s. I put that up there, I use that for the Xbox One X. And got that set up. Basically you download the app, the Adobe, the Adobe Atmos app. You have to sign up with that, you select headphones and then it makes you download another app that takes a couple of seconds. And that is the app that will either A, it's gonna give you a 30 day free trial. After the 30 days you do have to pay $15. It's $15 for good though. Um, so you only pay for it once. It's basically Adobe, uh, Adobe's, you know, license that they're charging. So, um, I got that set up. I got that going. The first thing I tried was movies, uh, because that seemed to be, well, actually the first thing I tried is Adobe has like a few short experiences in the app. Once you download it, that was really cool. And let me tell you, the sound was pretty mind blowing. Like as far as how good it sounded and how good the three, the 360 and the headphones sounded, it's basically as good as any uh, it's the best like you know how like all those headphones that are out there that do like virtual 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound well, it was, it's like that but it's the best I've heard from all the ones I had better than the regular Astros that are you know that I have with their virtualization that they have going on it's better than that and when I tried those three I was really excited so the next thing I did is I popped in uh, a movie I put in San Andreas and Ghostbusters in 4k both of those support Dolby Atmos I put those into the to the Xbox, they'll, they sounded amazing as well. Like like I said, it's better than the Astros that I usually, that I've heard movies on uh, by themselves with their with their setup. And it just sounded really, really good. Uh, there's not much else to say about it. It's something obviously I can't show you or visualize it, but it's, it's amazing. And uh, it's something you guys should experience. It's free for 30 days, there's nothing stopping you. And like I said, you don't even require, and for the people who are on regular stereo headphones, and that's what's all you've been using, it's gonna probably blow your mind even more because you're used to just regular stereo sound. I was already used to the Astro, you know, virtualization that they had going on, and I already knew that that was, you know, pretty good for what it was. This is just a notch better over that, but for the people who are on stereo, it's gonna be two or three notches above that. So you guys are gonna be even more blown away coming from that. So any pair of, that you're using with the Xbox One X, download the app and it will work right with it. Then I tried Gears of War 4 and, um, that was, and Rise of the Tomb Raider, Gears of War 4 more, Rise of the Tomb Raider was in the middle of the story and there wasn't a lot of action going on. I did hear the sound and it sounded really good and everything, but there wasn't a lot of action for me to hear, like, you know, with things coming from all over the place. So, I switched over to Gears of War 4, I tried multiplayer, I tried the story, and that was the best experience I've had across all of them. It was really close to the movies, but Gears of War 4 sounded basically incredible. Uh, it's amazing how that thing sounds and how Adobe Atmos affects these titles when they're properly supported. So that was awesome. You guys really need to check this thing out. Like I, I explained to you how, how to get it. It's, it's, there's no reason why you shouldn't. Um, now, if you don't, if the games don't support Adobe Atmos and it's, it's still going to do its own virtualization, which is also really good. I, I don't even use the Astro built-in one now. I just use Adobe Atmos one because it sounds to me a little bit better even with titles that don't actually support Adobe Atmos and that's just using virtualization to try to simulate it as best as they can without actually the title supporting it. So that sounded amazing. But as we all know, headphones can only do so much. So I came back downstairs. I put on, there's a couple of um, titles that only work through HDMI like a receiver. You need to have a receiver. For example, Star Wars Battlefront doesn't work has Adobe Atmos support, but only works through HDMI pass-through, so it needs to be HDMI connected. So obviously headphones don't work because they're through optical. So I came down here, I put in Battlefront, and that was literally mind-blowing. But obviously it should be because I have the five speakers here, and it sounded absolutely amazing. Like you can hear the difference between before I had Adobe Atmos, the app running on the Xbox One X, and how it sounded now, and how I actually activated, because I obviously never activated my receiver even though I had Adobe Atmos, it was never actually using the, the feature until today. 
and it sounded, Star Wars Battlefront sounded better than it's ever been down here. It sounded really good, and so did the Blu-ray. I tried San Andreas down here, it sounded even better, of course, than the headphones did. Absolutely great. So, basically, I'm going to be adding two speakers to the top of the ceiling to make it even better. That is the true setup. You could run it like I did with your regular 5.1 surround sound. It's gonna be better than what it was before by my experience from the th few titles that I tried. And there's nothing stopping you because it's absolutely free. One thing to mention, if you use it on the receiver, there is no cost like there is for the headphones. Only the headphone costs $15 after the 30 day trial. Before, If you wanna use it on your receiver, it's just free. And that's, that's all there is to it. So that sounded amazing. If you had the setup, do it. See how it sounds to you. It sounded really great. I can't wait to add the speakers to my ceiling to get the full like experience and be completely surrounded by everything from top to bottom. Can't wait for that and for more titles and for more and movies keep coming out. There's already a lot of those, but games I'm hoping that they keep adding them. Assassin's Creed was one of the origins, is one of the ones that Xbox One X just got an update for to add Adobe Atmos. I unfortunately have that game on the PC, so I couldn't try that one. But I don't know if it's one of the hot titles that everyone's looking at and that does support it. So that is basically the gist of what Adobe Atmos is and how it works. And my recommendation is you guys should definitely try it. Headphones, any pair of headphones will work. Definitely try that. You got a 30 day free trial. Try it for yourself. See how much better it sounds, especially the people who are on stereo sound and even the people who are using virtualization. Try it because it's still better than that. So definitely give that a shot. There's no reason not to. And if you have, if you had Adobe Atmos already set up with the speakers that I was talking about how you place them already, and you already had that going, then this is a no-brainer to get it set up on the Xbox One X if you didn't know the feature existed, because it was updated a couple months ago. If you don't, and you still only have 5.1, still set it up, get it going, see how it sounds, it sounds really good, but keep in mind that you're not getting the full effect, just like I'm not, until you actually put those either on the book, on top of your book, uh, the bookshelf speakers, or until you put them on your ceiling to actually get the full effect and, and have these completely surrounded. And the full effect is technically having four speakers on your ceiling or four on here. I'm gonna have majority of the effect because I'm gonna have the two because uh, my receiver doesn't go any more than seven speakers. But I'm still excited for it and I can't wait to hear how that thing sounds because everyone who's heard it says it sounds amazing with the top speakers and my room being so small, like, yeah, if I could have four, I would, but it's gonna sound ridiculous for anybody who comes here. And I can't wait to hear because it, it already sounds better than it did before. So, um, yeah, guys, I, I just want to let you guys know what that was, how it works, where you can get it. Uh, it's on Windows as well. I almost forgot to mention I did try it on Windows too. You, I didn't. I don't have a Blu-ray player on this PC, so I can't tell you. I'm assuming it works on Blu-rays just like it would on on Xbox. Uh, I don't know who would actually use it, but the only game that I found so far that actually supports it that I own was, um, oh geez, what was it? I just lost the game that I was thinking of. I'm gonna have to actually turn around for a second. What game was I playing to actually work with Adobe Atmos on here? Oh, Jesus, Overwatch. Overwatch is the only game on the PC that actually lets you turn it on and actually work because the same problem persists on some of the PC titles. So Star Wars Battlefront on the PC also has the option, but it's completely grayed out if it's not running through HDMI. So being that your headphones are obviously running through optical or USB or whatever it may be, they're not gonna work. So the game won't even let you turn it on. So it's still the same philosophy there. But Overwatch is doing it in some other way that I guess it's about, it does work. Kind of like headphones, the, you know, I guess they're doing it the way Microsoft is doing it with the headphones on the Xbox, but they're bringing it over to the PC. And Overwatch is a giant difference. Look it up, look people talking about it, Google it yourself, that I'm not making this up. It makes a big deal and it's the same philosophy that Adobe for headphones app is $15, 30 day free trial on the Windows store. So you can also check it out with any pair of headphones. Same mentality as the Xbox. Just uh, Overwatch is the only game I found to actually work on it. But uh, I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys, you know, an overview on this Adobe Atmos and what's going on with the Xbox and Windows and how you guys can get your hands on it. And uh, I can't wait. And I'll personally obviously be doing another video whenever I do get my two speakers set up on the top of the ceiling and do another uh, review on this or, over, or look at it and how much better it is from what I said now. So how much better it is with those two speakers up there. So you guys can look forward to that. It's not gonna be anytime soon because I got the speakers aren't cheap to like four or $500 to add two of them. So that will be in the coming months, but you guys can look forward to that. So subscribe to the channel to keep in the know with that. And I hope you guys learned from some of this. You guys have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching and until next time. The Game In Tech, Game In Techie is the Game In Tech, Game In Techie, Game In Tech.
eating brekkie is the gaming tech Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech Gaming techie is the gaming tech